Exclusive Five on Your Side investigation tonight has turned up classified government documents and new revelations about a leaking nuclear power plant. It comes in the wake of an ongoing Defense Department investigation prompted by our original report last March. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us with new links to Navy veterans dying of cancer. Well, it's an investigation that just keeps getting bigger. It's all in this government report that few have ever seen until now. Inside, it reveals the United States Navy knew of radiation leaks, but continued to expose veterans who were stationed nearby. Last week, those same veterans met for their first reunion in years. Along with memories, many share something else. He said, well, you got cancer. This is uh, renal cancer. When I went to the doctor, he said it's a different cancer, and it's at a different location. Ed Wentling has twice been diagnosed with cancer. That's where I breathe right here. That's the only breathing thing I got. During the 60s and 70s, Wentling and veterans he hasn't seen in years served here at McMurdo Station, Antarctica. And just up the hill, they could see what was then known as one of the Navy's first portable nuclear reactors. How close were you to the nuclear plant? Right at the bottom of the hill. It's the very same hill where radioactive material made its way down to the men. According to this Veterans Administration document we first showed you last March. And at this reunion with his Navy squadron that served at McMurdo, the list of veterans suspecting the reactor may have caused their cancer continues to grow. Last night, like I said, I found out that three of us at the same time and, and two of us lived in that same mud all come down with multiple cancers. Our Five on Your Side investigation was the first to reveal a possible link. In March, we reported the plant had a history of breakdowns. They were contained in this final operating report completed after it was shut down for good in 1973. It found 438 malfunctions from 1964 through 1973 and 123 reports of radiation exposure in excess of allowable limits. Now we've uncovered new evidence. Those malfunctions began shortly after the plant was brought online in 1962 a full two years earlier. Well, it's kind of shocking. Why, why didn't they let us know that we'd been exposed? You know, uh, the, the Navy's good about it, keeping things quiet. Jim Baines talking about this government report that veterans never knew about until we showed them. It was prepared for the Navy after the plant was first shut down in November 1964. It reveals widespread defects in the reactor core. I would like to know, yes, I would like to know what caused this. If that was it, then somebody should answer for covering it up. The report found 30 cracks in the reactor core containing highly enriched uranium-235, a fuel leak of undetermined origin, and increasing radiation levels in the primary coolant. It had been operating for just two and a half years when it was replaced with another. Do you believe that that plant played a role in your cancer? Absolutely. 77-year-old Hoot Hartman served at McMurdo in 62 and 63 when the trouble first started. I remember the sirens going off, and we were told that that was a scramble signal that they were having a problem. We never had instruction on what to do, or, you know, to go anywhere, or where could you hide anyway. Hartman had kidney cancer and now is battling cancer in both lungs and his lymph nodes. Being a career Navy person, I didn't really ever suspect that my government would shoot me in the back. This Navy film documents the plant being built and tested. We found it in the library of the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna. Tom Elder remembers a close friend who worked here inside, describing how devices called dosimeters that measure radiation were often ignored. He said, oh, we just threw our dosimeters away. They're no good. They're maxed out the minute you walk in within 30 minutes. So they kept a spare dosimeter outside. And then when they come out, the corpsman would check them for radiation. He checks your meter. If you're over, you can't go back in. So they just throw that one away and get a new one, put it on and walk back out. 
And this happened? Yes. Regularly? Every day. Now, decades later, what happened here at McMurdo is finally being investigated at the top levels of the Defense Department. And veterans may finally get answers. My days are numbered, so I hope they, they find out something and uh, compensate appropriately so my spouse can, uh, can at least benefit a little bit from, uh, from what I, I had to go through unknowingly be exposed to. And as a result of our investigation, the Navy has now turned over classified documents to the Veterans Administration. It has also turned over the names of 109 veterans so the VA can evaluate them. And because of evidence raised in our report, the VA is now encouraging all those who served at McMurdo to apply for possible compensation for their cancers, even if they've been denied before. And you can check out Newsnet5.com for much, much more video of that plant being built and tested. Well, Ron, you were at the reunion, and I'm sure that they're very grateful for the work that you have done. And, and how do they feel that finally their story is being told and something may happen? Well, it, it was poignant. It was heartbreaking. And to see these men uh, finally get some attention, it's gratifying. And we're going to keep on the story. All right. Good job, Ron, as always. Thank you.